Hi everyone! In this video I will show you how to connect different work items together and also trigger them with the status transition guards at the same time in CodeBeamer. There may be complex scenarios where you want to execute specific process steps in parallel by splitting or forking processes and only continue with the main process after all these parallel subtasks are completed. Therefore, I have prepared a simple business process model which will guide and also visualize the business case for today's video. The use case starts here with the system requirements since processes are represented by work items in CodeBeamer. From the system requirement, which, which will be the model requirement, you can derive different and multiple items like hardware and software requirements, which will be the children requirements. For the status transition of my system requirement, you can now define a trigger or rather condition which has to be true to operate, for instance, from the status waiting for children requirements to the status accepted. But this shall be possible once the children requirements are completed. When the status of the children requirements are on any other status like draft to review or new, nothing shall happen and the status of the mother requirements remain the same. So for example, in the system requirements, um, the system requirements has to check the status of the children requirements and once the children requirements are not accepted yet, the system requirements has to keep the current status. But once they are in the status accepted, the mother requirement shall be automatically changed into the status accept as well. So basically, the status transition guard is a filter or rather a condition in form of a public track review, which will be checked upon a transition execution and must also be true in order for a status transition to proceed. You can fully customize the guard according to your needs. So let's jump directly into our code beamer. As you can see here, we have three different trackers or rather uh, requirements such as the system requirements, which is the mother requirement here, and also two children requirements, for instance, hardware requirements and also the software requirements. So let's jump into the system requirements. Here we have one demo system requirements and this is, uh, has currently the status waiting for the children requirements to be approved. And once I want to uh, change the status into accept, the guard has been activated and the status transition is not allowed to proceed. And I will show you the reason. So let's jump into the hardware requirement, which is the children requirement. And as you can see here, we have one requirement which is not completed yet. And also in the software requirements, we have uh, accepted and all the software requirements has been accepted so far. But once one item hasn't been accepted, the guard uh, is being activated. So I will show you the configuration or how it looks like. So in this visualization, you can see how the system requirement is connected to the hardware requirements and also to the software requirements children. So let's go back to system requirement and let's derive a new children within the new referring item tab. So for example, let's derive a new children hardware requirement and call it, for example, um, child hardware requirement three and give it a nice description. Save this up. And once you save this item, you can see the, the relations. So this is related to the system requirements one. And also you can see that this requirement is associated associated with the system requirements one as well. So let's refresh this page, page for the hardware requirements and yeah let's try to change the status for my system requirements and the guard is still active. So let's change all the um, children hardware requirements to status uh, activate accepted sorry and go through the process, workflow process. And once I accepted my third child hardware requirements and refresh this page, you can see that the, that the status of my system requirements has been automatically changed to accepted as well. So I will show you how to configure this up. So let's go to children requirements, go to more and customize and then to uh, fields. 
You can easily connect this tracker to the system requirements within the system property field called subject. Therefore, I will check the field to show the property names and search for a subject. Here it is. And in the work and config item configuration, you can set up the reference field to another tracker, such as the system requirements. And this means that the sub process must have a reference field that contains the reference to the main process. This reference field is needed for the sub process to call back to the main process up upon the completion. And please check out on our how to video called Workflow Configuration Cross Checker Workflow on our web page to get more information how to set this up more detailed. Also, when I change to the status transition of my hardware requirements uh, children, um, you can see the state transition. And also, there is a graphical visualization for the two requirements trackers and how they are interconnected to each other. And this diagram shows that there is a workflow chaining from a hardware requirement to my system requirement. And once the status of my hardware requirement goes from waiting to for approval to accepted, then the status of the system requirements shall be automatically triggered from the status waiting for children requirements to accept it as well. And to fork the sub-process from a main process, you will need to implement a custom workflow update action and configure it for the state transition that leads into the appropriate state. And I will show you how it looks like. So for example, we are in the waiting for approval status to accept that status. I will go to edit. And here you can see that there is a field to update. So once the status has been executed, also there should be an, an update for my system requirements from the status waiting for children requirements to accept it as well. Also, as you can see here, there is a guard for the system requirements. And this is shown as a bracket. And the guard says that all hardware and software requirement has to be accepted first in order to change the status to accept it. So I will open up this guard. And as you can see here, the guard has been implemented in the model requirements, system requirements as the following. You can easily set up uh, new guards and also edit on those um, for each status transition. And the status transition for this particular user story is that all the children requirements shall not have any items in the status unresolved, as you can see here. So let's jump back and I will show you how you can customize this. So let's go to status and then to options. And we can see here that the status options um, are only it's just only the status accepted has the meaning resolved, as you can see here. But as I said before, you can individually customize this and give status different meanings. So this was the video, how to set up workflow chains with guards. Thank you very much for your attention.